Hello my gardening friends. Welcome to another video. It's still Earth Day and I just took everything out of the greenhouse to soak in some sun so I thought I'd make another video because I realized I had a lot, a lot of things growing. I thought I would take a little spin around and show you what I got going on. Right here I have some black eyed pea beans uh, that I'm using. I already harvested a bunch of them and they are over here growing very nicely. Right there in pots soaking in the sun. They are uh, very hardy. They are, from what I can tell, mostly disease and pest um, resilient. They do get some pests, but they seem to be able to handle them. They get the beetle. Um, and then down here we have some basil, different kinds of basil. There's buckwheat and broccoli, kohlrabi, uh, some flowers that I'm starting there. Those are four clocks. And then over here I have some tomatoes and peppers that I've been keeping in the greenhouse or in the house because it is very much too early for these. Today it's real nice out. Uh, it's going to be up to 70, but we just had a um, couple nights in a row of below freezing temperatures. So I've been moving all of these, all these trays in and out of the house. And I'll keep going around and showing you. Um, every day I monitor the weather to make sure it's going to be okay for these guys. And if not, then I don't let them stay out in the greenhouse. I bring them in the house. So thank goodness for Frank and Dominic. They helped me get them in the house. Over here, we got our greens growing. And we got some more basil and peppers, different kinds of peppers. I think this year I have, oh, I still have to bring them out, the pepper plants and the tomato plants, the seedlings that I started. I, bring, I brought them in last night, so I have to bring them out. So here's some more mustard greens and other greens here. So all these greens, what is this? Oh, this is the broccoli and the kohlrabi. So these are all waiting for the right temperature. They're still growing in the greenhouse and in the protected conditions. There's some more greens, more greens. And I'm just digging up a new area for them in the shade so I can grow them longer in the summer because they don't really like the heat. So over here we have some collard greens and I just put them in the garden. These are the ones that I have for the shady garden. I put them over in the main garden. I'll have to show you where. And this is pepper grass that grows in the shade. So that's for my shade garden. And down here some more black eyed pea beans. They're very, very healthy for you. Excellent source of protein and fiber. And over here we have nasturtium. That is called uh, the jewel of India. It gets red flowers on it that are edible. Both the leaves and the flowers are edible. They taste peppery. And there's some more strawberries that I picked out. And uh, some violets down there. We have growing our chamomile. And there's some English daisies. You can see they're doing really well. So those are my extras that I'm gonna plant when the time is right. So we're starting to get to those right weather conditions where things can move from the greenhouse. There's some other things that I bought that I've been slowly putting around, but I discovered the hard way that marigolds don't like the cold weather. I planted some in my happy garden over there and they, they died in the cold weather that we got the other day. So I learned that lesson the hard way, but I do have some more there to plant. And I try to do that. I try to always have extra. So if something dies or it doesn't look good or it doesn't make it, I just replace it and I can keep everything looking real nice and pretty. So I'll show you the new area that I've been working on over here. I don't want to make this update too long, but I just finished planting that. That likes the shade. That's a hydrangea. And over here I have some hosta coming in and I have some more hosta to plant and both of those both of these guys like the shade. You can see this got shade here. So I'm gonna plant all of my, well, not all, uh, but some of my lettuces are gonna be over here and anything that is shade loving, uh, we're gonna plant on this side. So 
between Frank and I, we've been working on this area, and then Frank is using the tiller, and he's opening up this space here. Very excited, we're getting all these things done so quickly, because Frank is ha helping me now, and we have a, an electric powered tiller that really makes this job easier. I did all of this by hand uh, in the past couple of years, and we recently got um, a tiller that does an amazing job, and then we're gonna put those garden beds on top uh, because there's a lot of rocks in this soil and the soil isn't doesn't really have that good a drainage so to solve the drainage problem I'm going to build up a little bit with some good soil and uh, I wanted to show you some of the other things that I just planted over here I also learned the hard way that stevia doesn't like the cold so I'm not sure if that's going to come back, but it got damaged by the uh, very cold, cold front that came through the other day. So I planted a lot of herbs in here, herbs that will come back. This is my heart garden to show how much I love gardening. And here's my phlox, beautiful pink phlox. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that thing. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger. I'm going to split that up and try to make it a little smaller because it's crowding in my parsley right there and we got a bleeding heart here the bleeding heart also doesn't appreciate the coldness too much I see some of the the bleeding hearts are a little droopy so I'm not sure if they're gonna come back but look at them are they beautiful they look like hearts that are bursted open this is a shade loving plant so it's back here behind the hoop house and it gets filtered sunshine so it works out perfectly for this and over here is the main garden bed and this is the collard greens that I just planted along with some purple purple cauliflower and then I went out into the woods and I got some leaves and some pine needles and yesterday Frank used our mulching machine that we just got but boy that really does make life a lot easier as well so we ground them up in the mulching machine and now I put them around there and they will help with the weeds and they will keep the water or the moisture into the soil and they'll also add nutrients to the soil. So I never did this before, I'm trying this this year. I didn't like the look of it in the garden, you can see the difference. Like I like the soil look, that area I haven't planted yet. Um, but you know, this, this is better fertilization and moisture control so we're gonna see if it works out this year all right well I guess that's it for now everything is growing real nice I've got some onions there I just planted I just well Frank helped me of course with our machine but I just created some good soil for this area right here and I'm gonna plant some things that'll be in the next update and over here I planted a bunch of onions we have our peas that are growing and uh, making their way up to the trellis structure. Very excited about. Can't wait to see how things grow around there and work out. And then here's some more onions that I planted and some asparagus. Can't wait for that. Okay, my friends. Happy Earth Day. I hope you have a wonderful day.